Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Windows Forms or WinForms applications using Visual Basic or VB.net inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will explore the necessary components or workloads needed for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. Windows Forms. It's a UI framework for building Windows desktop apps. It provides one of the most productive ways to create desktop applications based on the visual designer provided in Visual Studio. Functionalities such as drag and drop placements of visual controls makes it easy to build desktop applications. So enough of all the talking, let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio installer open. And we're going to use the Visual Studio Community version, 2022 Community version. So if you don't have it, make sure you download and install it before you get to this point. Yeah. So to get us started, let's look at the workloads needed for us to get started. So we can click on the modify just to sign up. So as you can see here now, I've actually got a bunch of boxes checked. That means I've already got them installed on my system. But for this video, you have to make sure that you have this box .NET Desktop Development. This box checked, yeah. So this will actually help you build a WPF Windows Forms console app using C Sharp, Visual Basic, and F Sharp with .NET and .NET Framework, yeah. So if you don't have it, make sure you check on this box, download and install it before you get to the next stage, yeah. If that's not the case, then we close the Visual Studio installer. And then we launch the Visual Studio. So here we go. We go ahead by creating a new project. So as you can see on the left side here, I've already opened uh, Windows Forms app before using the Visual Basic. That's why it's showing on the recent project template. So if that's not the case here, we come into the languages and we select the Visual Basic. And even on the, on the project types, yeah, we can select desktop. So this will act, actually trim down the, the set results, yeah. So see, as you can see on the top bit, yeah, we have a Windows Form app. So we've got a VB Windows Form app. So this is a project template for creating a .NET Windows Forms application. So we click, we click here, uh, and then we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details, but we're not going to look too much into that, yeah? So we click on the next. And here, obviously, we can select the .NET version that is applicable to us. So we're going to leave it at the default 6.0, so which, is, which has got the long-term support, yeah? So we click on the Create. So this might actually take a while. So as you can see, it didn't take that long. So while the whole thing is being is loaded, with Windows Forms, you develop graphically rich apps that are easy to deploy, update, and work while offline or while connected to the internet. Windows Forms app can access the local hardware and file system of the computer where the app is running. Yeah, so bear that one in mind. So as you can see here now, we have the Windows Forms um, project template we created for us here. Yeah? So we look at it. So since we're using the Visual Basic, it has the extension of .vb. So it's form1.vb. So this is the visual representation of the, of the WinForms here. Yeah? So here, you can graphically design it, or you can, you can, you can write the code if you want to. So, we're just going to make something very simple just to show us how, how the whole thing is represented. So we can click the main form here. So once we click on the main form, I'm just going to expand this one a bit. We have the, the, the properties here. So this is the form one properties that we've actually clicked. So it's got a bunch of controls that we can actually, control settings that we can actually do from here without coding, yeah? like the background color. So you can select the background color here. 
So you can use whatever color that you want. You can this is a system color. You can use the web color or you can use the custom color. So you can select whatever color that is that is applicable to or, or that any color that you want. So see once we select whatever color that we want to use, as you can see, it's reflected on the graphical side instantly. Yeah. So it is very simple stuff here. So as you can see here, the form is form one. So you can change the test by looking at the test bit here. So you can select and we can change it. We can just make it a login. So once we change it here, so as you can see here, the login is already is changed here as well. So we can also drag and drop some UI controls by clicking on the two box. So here we've got a bunch of controls that we can use. So we've got common controls and all Windows form controls. So we can we can drag a button and place it here. So as you can see, wherever we drag them, we can drag and drop it anywhere within the form. Yeah. So as you can see, the test on the button is is, is button one. So we can actually change some details of it here. So like the, the foreground, which is for the test color, and then the background and whatnot. Yeah. So we let's let's change the background as well. So let's make it something different. So let's make the background white. I mean red, and and then the foreground. Let's let's make it something bright. So as you can see, we still got the button one here. So let's go ahead and change the test, the button test here. So we can change it here by clicking here, test side, yeah? We can make it login. So as you can see here now, we've got it changed here. So it's not it's not very difficult stuff. So we could also, we can also handle the, the button click event by clicking on this bit here the events so now we've actually selected the button so we, we can you can look at the click here we can double click on the click here so this will actually create a click event for us so this is the button one click events here so we can handle the event like let's see if the button is click what we want to do let's put a message box So dot show. So basically, whenever the button is clicked, yeah, we want this message to be shown. So we could say login button clicked. Yeah, something very simple. So whenever the button the button is clicked, we want this message to be shown. Yeah. So we come back inside the form here now. So as you can see, we have the this button. Um, handled. So let's go ahead and run it for the first time and let's see what actually comes out of it. So now we have this web form running now. So let's click it. So as you can see, the login button clicks. So it's very simple stuff. So basically, this video is to get us started in terms of being able to build a Windows forms using a Visual Basic and Visual Studio 2022. So now from here, obviously, you can continue and do whatever you want to do. So I, I hope this actually helps you to get started. So if that's the case, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.